4,090 pounds. This is a Passport 239 ML. One of the, I think actually currently at this time of year, uh, this is right now Passport's number one produced model. They are just cranking this thing out and for good reason. It does a lot of good stuff at only 4,090 pounds, very easy to tow from a very reliable, respected brand, number one selling ultralight in North America. That says a lot. Um, if at any point you wanna learn about like, well, first of all, do you, <laughs> hey, hey, let's, you got one in stock? If you wanna see what we're asking, uh, equipment packages or different decor options that we have in stock, all of that is right down here in the video description. One click away, that'll take you to the Halet RV website and you can see any of the 239 ML passports that we have in stock here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. What we're asking, all that good stuff, tank capacities, lengths, etc. So, this is all thriller, no filler, no nonsense, no BS, family, bunkhouse camper with a front Murphy bed uh, for mom and dad. So what we get here is something the size of like a big 30 foot trailer, maybe with the living space of a slide out, but without the weight, the cost, the length of a bigger slide out trailer. How cool is that? All aluminum structure here, even under the bed. I, and I say all aluminum, I mean all aluminum structure. The wood stuff that you see is really just facing so that it doesn't look so metallic and cold and harsh once you're inside. Um, you can see this big 30 inch uh, wide baggage door here. Gives you a nice big pass through to get to all your stuff. Now we've also got, uh, even though this is the, there's, this is the, what is the, where's the sticker? This is the, the Passport Express series. This is like the simple base level of the family. Even there, they're still using cooler, little simpler magnetic baggage doors so that it's just easier access to your, your compartments. Notice too, we've got all sealed hinge um, baggage doors too. What that's doing for us is if uh, the, the water comes off the downspout and rolls down the wall, if it gets on this piano hinge, especially in the spring, the fall, it starts to get cold and freeze up, frozen water expands. Well, that will spring your hinge and screw your hinge up pretty quick. Now we don't have that problem. Thank you, Passport. Probably one of the reasons that Keystone's had such a uh, stellar service record as a whole across the entire series that we carry here at Halid RV. You know, from the basic Springdale and Summerlands, here to the Passports, through the Cougars and Montanas. Um, these guys are just getting the job done, you know. I, I can find you a trailer with fancy widgets and fancy looking cabinet doors. I can't find you one built better though. That's what I like about these. They get the job done. This uh, this rides on a very different chassis. It's one of my favorite things here at Halitz. And I think the chassis is one of the reasons that uh, the uh, coach has very few uh, historically service related items because if you want a good house you start with a good foundation well that's exactly what we have here uh, you see this thing up here Bell products NXG frame that doesn't mean anything to you what you need to understand is this is a different style frame it's not an I-beam it's a Z beam basically it's made like an aircraft skeletal structure. It's made with HSLA steel, high strength, low alloy. What that means is this is thinner, stronger, lighter. Not the least expensive chassis on the market yet. Because they are so very streamlined at Passport, almost everything is standardized um, so that they can control the cost and you get quality through repetition. When that laborer on the line builds the same thing the same way every time, you get quality through that repetition. Another reason we don't have problems with the Passports here at Halet RV. Um, I personally, I'm sweet on this brand because I know that when I shake hands with a client and you drag this thing home behind your vehicle, it stays in your driveway. It doesn't come back to my driveway because all you do is camp. You don't come back for service. Now, nothing's guaranteed perfect when it's built by hand, but this comes as close as it can. Now, notice detail stuff too. This is a Murphy bed with a, <coughs> pardon me, massive, massive pass-through storage compartment. <coughs> That's not normal. Murphy beds don't usually have outside storage. But look at the size of this trailer. And relative to the size of the outside storage, it's critical. You need that outside storage here. Now, all the windows open for airflow. They're UV tinted to give you privacy. They keep the uh, you know the uh, heat 
down a little bit. A little outside utility shower. Everything that needs to be there is here. We've got a gel coated exterior on the Phylon so that it's got that good sheen and reflectivity. They have five year guarantee on their decals. Um, you know, one of the things I like about Keystone the most here at Halid RV is they fully acknowledge they're not perfect. And maybe in the past, they've made mistakes. But in doing so, they've also not turned a blind eye to it, but they have progressed and moved forward and, and corrected those mistakes. If you look at Keystone products built in like the early to mid 2000s, you're lucky if there's any of the decals left because they use super, super cheap decals. So now they're using some of the thickest, sturdiest, heaviest, nudiest decals on the market. They've corrected the problem. I love that. I love that they identify fault points and they correct it. It's amazing. Why do, most brands just don't do that, as dumb as it sounds. I like this. On the Express Series, um, they have a built-in little hose holder for your, your sewer hose. That's awesome. Because you don't want to mix your sewer stuff with your camping stuff up front. So they give you a dedicated place for something like that. 18 gallon per water, or pff, 18 gallon per hour water heater. That is awesome. Um, not uncommon in this class. It, uh, it's DSI, which means direct spark ignition. What that means in English is automatic ignition. You don't have to come out here with a grill lighter to spark it up. Um, patio awning really couldn't be much bigger. It starts way at the back wall. It goes up front. Um, they can't put it over that window and any further forward and you start to run into the taper of the nose So they've got pretty much a max length power awning on here It is an easy tilt awning with just two fingers You can pull on it and the awning will crank down and stay there and then if you forget it and you start to roll the awning up It'll flatten itself out on the way in and then it rolls back out flat and then you can crank it down again. So it's uh, it's basically idiot proof detail stuff this is an outside kitchen model, as you can probably see and discern. But a lot of trailers have this kind of thing going on. See, outside kitchens didn't used to be such a thing. Outside kitchens really only happened in like 2010, 2011. So there are, this is effectively, this is a model that had existed for years. It was called the 238 ML. Well, they updated it a little bit, gave it the bigger bunks that are very popular now, and the outside kitchen that didn't used to be there. But by retrofitting, what they realized is, oops, we're kind of covering a bunk window here. So they added an additional bunk window on the rear wall. So you've got actually additional airflow window on the lower bunk now, which is really handy. Um, but it, it can also be just extra light. So again, they say, oops, we did something kind of wacky goofy. Let's overcome that challenge. Even just a window, they're right on the ball. It's not an accident these guys uh, are, are the number one selling ultralight in North America. Very impressive. So they were one of the first really here, Keystone, to pioneer the low profile outside kitchen. Um, and every outside kitchen's a little different, just like every style of Murphy bed's a little different. This is what the Passport works with, and it works very well, because again, it's all function, um, all thriller, no filler. It just gets the job done. Where theirs is really cool is by going with low profile, they do not steal from the bunk room. You can still have a pair of bunks instead of losing a whole lower bunk. <clears throat> However, they've also realized counter space with a low profile outside kitchen is lacking. So they create counter space with those handy little slide out wing outs right there. Uh, <coughs> darn cough. Sink here you see uh, does have hot and cold water. If you're not going to cook outside, don't worry about it. You can just fold down the cover, and now it's a space where you can set a drink. And, of course, Dad's medicine cabinet, one of everyone's favorite parts of the popular outside kitchen. And just the, the silliest little things make the most sense. We've got power outlets right here, right next to this. You know, I, I look at that, and if I'm going to be outside hanging out all day, I don't have to be tethered to this thing. It can sit right there, and if the battery gets low, I can charge it and never be away from my phone. But I can also be with my family. You know, stuff like that means a lot to me. Everyone camps different. Some people camp to kind of be able to get away from themselves. I camp to get with my family because I'm at work every day away from them. I don't want to be away from my family. This little thing allows me to still be in touch with all the access to like if I want to quick reference or Google something or plan my daily route at my, uh, you know, like if I, I use my camper as a base camp. So after 
you know, I sit here in the morning and I plan out and I, and I Google up all the little sites and scenes of the local area, I can just split. But I got to be outside with my family while I'm doing that. I'm watching my kid blow bubbles with her bubble machine. And we set that picnic table up right under this patio awning with the LED lights going and the stereo going with the outside speakers. This is an awesome, awesome little family camper. I love so much of it. It would, it would fit me very well. I don't know. Everyone's different. But this camper speaks to me, and I think you're going to enjoy it too. And who doesn't like aluminum wheels? Honestly. Who doesn't like aluminum wheels? Um, entry door is strutted so that the kids don't slam it open, the wind doesn't slam it open, and the door doesn't slam against the side of an open awning. Because if you start pushing awning arms sideways, <laughs> they're toast. You're, you're, you're replacing hardware, they're toast. Now you don't have that problem. This, well, other than the carpet square that Keystone's kind enough to put in here so that we have a place to wipe off our shoes, this is a carpetless, easy cleaning floor plan. <coughs> Always a... Uh, popular positive thing. Uh, this is uh, one of the several decor options available from the Keystone Passport family. The whole series of trailers shares uh, decor, so whether it's the Express, the Grand Touring, or the Elite, you have the same decor options. Remember the one that we have in stock at Haylet RV could be different from the one you're seeing here. Remember that. So if you like everything in this video except this, click the link in the video description to see which one we have in stock for you. So again, the benefit of the Murphy bed is that we have the space, the living room space of a trailer with a slide out, but we don't actually have the weight and cost of a slide out. We've got just a nice uh, daytime living area. During the day, this is all you need. You don't usually need your master bedroom during the day. So effectively, they just chop like eight foot off the trailer to make this happen. It's awesome. It's really smart. It's really awesome. Um, we'll fold this down at the end of the tour so that you get to see that in action, but I want to go through everything else first here. I don't want to miss anything. We've got all LED lights, so we've got good lighting in here. LEDs are brighter. They run cooler. You know, they don't get uh, really, really, really hot to the touch like incandescent bulbs, so uh, it won't generate so much heat in here, which is nice. Speaking of heat, if you're cooking up a storm, they include an extra skylight and vent up here so that any heat, you know, heat rises, and then you can exhaust it out there, plus vent in the ceiling and big window right here uh you can get some very good airflow going through your camper same size air conditioner as their giant 35 foot double slide bunkhouse and this little 23 foot one room bunkhouse you'll be breathing icicles if you want to you know that keeping up with the cold won't be a problem in here <coughs> up here they purposely left this little corner open so that you can just sort of kick some shoes off over here, basically. It gives you a place to kick shoes out of the way instead of having a pile of shoes by the door. Now, uh, your sofa. One of the things I like about this is it's here when you need it, it's gone when you don't. And when you're sitting on it, I should, you know what, hold on, I should have <laughs> shot myself in the foot. I should have opened this right up right here. Because your, uh, there you go, your TV is swing arm mounted. So, when you sit on the sofa, if it's a rainy day and you're stuck in the camper, you still have decent entertainment. The kids can kind of occupy their bunk space. You can have some kids over here maybe playing some board games, eating up some time. Um, you know, and you can kind of just have an eye on the news or anything like that. Uh, plus, you have good entertainment options here. You can do all your Bluetoothing and all that fun stuff right here so that... Um, you know, again, that little phone in your pocket. You can just leave it up here. You can leave it plugged in. There's uh, USB outlets right there. So you can have USB plug charging your phone so that, uh, you know, you can stream your favorite music service perhaps and maybe not watch TV and keep the family engaged. Whatever works for you, this camper can do it. And by the way, there's little hidden storage behind the TV up here, which is really handy for... Um, I don't know. Is there anything? Is there such thing as too much storage? You can always find something to do with it. Uh, okay, so we talked about the shoe garage. On the other side, they have a nice big stand with power outlets. So if uh, one of the members of the uh, household here needs a CPAP machine, or you just want to keep your phone charger by your bed or something, you can do that. And because they went with the full length wardrobes, you don't have that big shoulder gouger wardrobe cabinet. If you've ever camped before, some of you know what I mean by that with big storage capacity in here. You could easily put a shelf in there and, and still have room to hang close. Um, let's see here. The table 
is a no-knee knocker. If you start looking under here, you notice that it's got the single leg and then the other side uh, latches to the wall. That means that a tall person like me can sit here with my family and not have to smash my knees on anything, which is just very welcome. There is storage below each of the benches. The dinette does fold down into an extra sleeper. Talked a little about entertainment because I've skipped around a little bit. Storage. Kitchen storage. Let's look at that. They really didn't waste an ounce of anything up here. And these are deep overhead cabinets. Um, the best way, here, here this is the, uh, the, the dinner plate test, guys. We know this thing. It's about the size of a dinner plate. When you're shopping, stuff it up in a cabinet somewhere. That'll give you an idea of depth and scope and scale. These are big. I've seen some trailers with similar floor plans. Again, we care, well, at the time of this filming, we've got between 500 and 550 RVs in stock right now, guys. So I'm very well versed in the other things that are on the market. We literally carry in travel trailers like the top five brands, the top three brands of uh, fifth. I mean, we have the top selling anything. I've got a great cross section of the market here. Most smaller campers will cut down to a single bowl sink. They still do a double sink here. A lot of smaller campers may only have like 16 to 17 gallon water tanks. Passports are 30, 30, 30, fresh gray black. Um, while I, it's, you, you, you're like, well, I don't know. I, I've seen trailers with bigger tanks. Not in this smaller class you have not That's what you got to remember. And that big chunk of counter space right there is worth its weight in gold. And it's not an accident. There's appliance outlets right above it. But we were talking about storage, and I got sidetracked by something shiny, because, you know, I have the propensity for doing that. Good storage here. You're thinking, drawers indoors. Huh. That's a little different. But again, it's, it's from that standardization and repetition at Passport. When I close all this back up, you start to notice a pattern here. One, two, three. Exact same door. They can build three doors and spend as much labor time and basically material cost as building two doors and uh or, or they can spend less time building it this way as opposed to building two doors and then one cabinet and then a couple drawers well that that labor time costs a lot of money guys by standardizing they can give you 100 percent of everything that you need in the camper at a reduced cost that's who passport is they are all thriller no filler everything that matters nothing that doesn't it gets the job done and again reliably so if you want to talk about high quality product, we are in it. You know, people often confuse fancy flashy features with product quality. And that's a very dangerous game to play with your money, folks. This is the surefire bet. <laughs> this is nothing wasted. Everything gained, nothing wasted. <coughs> so the extra little, I call it treasure chest storage down here. A little dark in there. Let me, all right. <clears throat> Let's see. It's a little dark in there. Let me see if um, my old magician training still... I see a luminary! Yep, there we go. Still still got it. Still know how to cast light with my hand. Okay, so you can see the extra storage in there. And uh, very handy for all the kids' stuff. Not to, You could just throw their bags or anything down there. But this is an easy thing to miss in just a still photo tour. And this is one of the most valuable square feet of real estate in this trailer. Because, well, I should say cubic foot because it's vertical as well. Obviously, we can convert this into a closet with the hanging rod. We've got adjustable shelving here so you can make this thing do what you need to. A lot of people go, what is that? Is that your furnace? No, that's your converter panel at, at your house. You call it like your breaker box, basically. Bathroom is simple, but you know what? It's clean. It's bright. It's Again, it's got everything it needs where uh, right where you need it. You got your power fan and a skylight. So if you're a little bit taller, you can cheat your head into the bubble there. And we actually have a medicine cabinet not just a mirror on the wall that is such an important difference you know you don't have a ton of real estate of countertop space here do you really want to clutter this thing up with the whole family's like um combs and toothbrushes and everything probably not so you have a place to store all that right here again everything that matters nothing that doesn't so let's take a look at the uh the front end of this real quick and then we'll wrap it right up and this is simple as pie one hand operational Sofa drops down. Now, if you're being really, really, really technical, you just nudge this a little bit and it'll just kind of tuck in, but you really don't need to do that. When you lay this down, it'll take care of it for you. So you drop this. I like to grab the little handle right there. Boom, there's your bed deck platform. 
Now there's different types of Murphy beds. They all have different advantages. Um, by going with the, uh, the tri-fold style mattress right here, what they've been able to do is maintain that full outside pass-through storage. Now, was that really so hard? That, that was most definitely not hard. Now, uh, something of very important note. When Passport first started building Murphy beds, they had a trifold like this, but it was a very thin mattress, and it wasn't very good. So then they tried a one-piece fixed mattress that sort of bent up in that front wall. But again, it was too thin, so what they did is they went back to the trifold, but they literally tripled the thickness, so it's got normal mattress thickness here. This is a real mattress, it's just a folding mattress, and it, is, it gets the job done. It works very well. Works very, very well. This is, an, this is a great trailer with an absolutely sterling service record. And frankly, I'm glad that this thing came back in stock because we sold out of the ones that we had all in one week. And we've been just begging as much as we could to get anything back in stock. So, give us a call. Again, there's a link in the video description for pricing and availability. You can see if we have it in stock and what we're asking without leaving. And by the way, our price does not have hidden garbage. We do not have prep fees. We do not have destination fees. We do not charge for starter bundles. Everything this trailer needs to operate on the campsite is included. It includes uh, you know, your propane, your battery. We clean it, we show you how it works, and a whole lot of other stuff. Everything literally down to your first roll of toilet paper is included in our price tag. Nothing hidden, guys. We just don't do that here. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.